Hi. The question I hear so many times is, should I invest in property or in digital assets or crypto, whatever you want to call it, Bitcoin for short. Um, and I'm, I'm a property coach. My name's Neil Foster from Organic Growth. And in this video, we're going to look at, uh, we're going to look at this question. Should I buy bricks and mortar? Should I buy property or should I buy crypto? And uh, crypto has had a lot of bad press, but it's also had a lot of good press. There's a lot of adoption happening worldwide and we would be we would be foolish if we were investors to not look at this at the asset that's been performing better than anything else for the last 10 years so uh i'm going to just jump into the video right now um as you can see in the background there's a nice high felt uh, storm brewing uh that's that's santon in the background um and it's rush hour it's 11 o'clock it's wonderful that you see the economy is picking up again like there's traffic behind me you'll hear traffic noise and um, I'm, I'm doing this video outside on my balcony with a view to to uh, to exposing this to you like this there's, there's there's Santon there's this <laughs> life's happening life's happening and carrying on and we're recovering from this pandemic and and what I've seen that that's really held well through this pandemic is residential property that kind of stuff you see there that that's the commercial uh, commercial property it's not done so well most of those buildings are half empty because everybody's working from home and what is home home is residential property and that's our business which is buy to let um, and as a property coach I, uh, I speak to people regularly where I sit down and I coach them how to get into property and our focus is to deal with the man in the street that's uh, the man or the woman in the street that's you if you're watching this video it's you I'm not talking about high-flying executives with billions of rands of dollars. I'm talking about hard-working people with salaries who want to get into property. They've heard so much about property, but they don't know how. And uh, if you want to know how, you know, on our website, organicgrowth.coza, I'll leave a link below. Um, you can go and have a look. We, 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 I've, been, I've been writing about the subject for 10 years. There's so much content on there. And we have one product which I'd like to point you to. It's called Property in the Box. Now, property in the box is where we do property for you. We, act, we literally hold your hand and take you through the whole process. We train you how to do it, then we end up doing it for you. And the idea is that I show you how to invest in property, then you invest in property, and then I, we look after your property going forward. But it's your property. It's not some sort of scheme where, where you've got to put in money into a fund and you own a share of a share of a share. No, you own your own property. We, well, I'm all about showing you how to own your own bricks and your own mortar and use it with other people's money. You buy it with other people's money. Speaking of which, I've got a, I've got a story here. This is really an exciting story. This is, the, this is, the, this is my bond statement of the first uh, investment property I ever bought. And I bought it about six or eight weeks after 9-11. So there was blood in the streets. Um, people were saying, oh, we're going into World War, which sounds a bit like now, 2022, you know, what's happening up with Russia and so on. You think, are we going to another World War? Well, now's the time to buy property. Um, and this property, you can see it there. I got a bond with, with FNB. It's in Belterfield and Park, Johannesburg. And uh, what I want to show you there is that, that great big naught there. That's my balance. And you can see my last bond repayment was made on the, on the 5th of February. You can see it there with my finger. Let me just get this onto the video. See the 5th of February. It's all reversed because of the video. Sorry. But if you can read in a mirror, you can see my, my last bond repayment of 5,263 Rand and 88 cents was made on the 5th of February. Now this property is mine. This property is mine and it's paid for by somebody else. And two groups of people conspired to pay for it. The first group of people was the bank. Where the bank got their money from is they borrowed some from, from the Reserve Bank and some they got from people who wanted to save money. So they collected this money, they put it together, they lent it to me at, at, at prime interest rate. And then I, it's, I put a tenant in there and for the 20 years, my tenant has been paying my whole bond. This property has not cost me a cent. And uh, now I've got a property worth about 600, 650,000 Rand and I don't owe a cent on it and it hasn't cost me a cent. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is buy to let property for the man in the street. And I've done it, uh, I've done it a number of times, uh, but this is my first one, first bond that's actually paid off. <laughs> and I bought this property 20 years ago, so it is a 20 year bond. So that's how this works. Um, so if you're interested in property, then uh, and property is your thing, and I would I see no reason why you shouldn't be. If you earn a salary of about 20,000 rand and above, 
we can easily help you get your get your toe into the into the uh, into the door and get you onto the property ladder. So there's a there's a link downstairs to property in the box. Uh, that's our offering where we show you how to do it all and and you help you to get into property. But now that's just one part of this this question. In case you're thinking from the title of this video that I'm going to say to you, oh, guys, let's go crypto. Let's let's abandon property. Go to crypto. No, that's not at all. The, this question of should I buy property? Should I buy uh, buy crypto? It's, it's, it's something that needs to be thought about. I've thought about it a lot. Oh, and by the way, I've got to tell you all, everybody tells you on YouTube, I'm not a financial advisor. And it's, I think by now it's pretty obvious that I'm not a financial advisor because if, if I was a financial advisor, I'd be advising you to buy pro pro products that are, look in the background there, you see those big buildings there? Those are buildings put up by the, the, the institutions who have licensed financial advisors and if I was a financial advisor, I'd be advising you to put your money into some sort of retirement annuity or a living annuity. Um, and those annuities will basically save your money and you keep pace with inflation effectively and you save your whole life long. And hopefully when you retire, you've got enough. And everybody I've spoken to, uh, when they get to retirement age, they say, hang on, I didn't save enough. I didn't save enough. And that's basically, it's almost impossible to save enough for, for if you're just keeping pace with inflation, you need to beat inflation. So it's obvious I'm not a financial advisor because if I was, that's the advice I'd be giving you. So instead what I'm doing is I'm saying to you, here are two options are available to you. One is property, residential property. I'll show you how to buy it using other people's money. Use, use their money. Use the bank's money to buy your property. And then, that, then, then you, and you, buy, you buy something that is in demand in the right place. And you have a tenant who over years, he needs, he needs property in that location. He can't afford to buy it himself or for whatever reason. So he rents from you. And in so doing, you're supplying a service and he's getting, the, he's getting a, a property and you end up owning the property after. It's a matter of patience for this wealth to be transferred into your name. I've heard a lot of people talking about this, this uh, the global reset and, and the wealth, wealth transfer. Well, this is wealth transfer, it just takes 20 years. Okay, so let me get, let me get over to digital assets. This is the second part. I need to just, just unpack digital assets and I'm calling them digital assets. I'm not calling them crypto necessarily. And uh, I'm not, it's not just Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a digital asset. There are a number of them. And it's, uh, it's a big subject for me to go. I don't want to go into it all now. And, and YouTube's full of it. You just type crypto in and you're going to get, oh, there's, there's a whole new language involved there where every Tom, Dick and Harry is trying to tell you that you've got to buy this coin, you've got to buy this coin. And they, they immediately get into jargon. And it baffles most of us. I've, I, it's taken me years to get into it and learn how to do it. And... Um, and by my very nature, I like to teach the man in the street, the woman in the street, the normal, regular salaried person or the young entrepreneur how to get into wealth, how to build wealth for themselves. And so personally, I've been on this journey for the last four years of, of discovering digital assets and so on. And um, there's something that before you get, before you come unstuck um, about all the, there's lots of uh, what you call it. I don't want to use crypto. I don't want to use crypto terminology, but they call it FUD: fear, anxiety, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. There's a lot of of, of news and misnews around about about uh, Bitcoin in particular, a bit cryptocurrencies in general. And um, so I've had to think long and hard and investigate. And basically, what it comes down to is the people shouting the loudest against crypto are the people who stand to lose the most by it. And you know, you take the analogy of the internet. Cryptocurrencies now are where the internet was in 1990. And if the post office had, had, had worked out that we were all going to email, they would have become internet service providers and we'd all, be, we'd all have telecom.co, I mean, we'd all have postoffice.co's uh, uh, email addresses, but we don't. They missed the boat. And now go and look at the post office. The post office is a shadow of its former self. And something I've often said about banks is if you want to see what your future holds, go and look at the post office. The banks need to get get in, get involved yeah otherwise they they're going to they're going to be left behind but in essence uh, cryptocurrencies have been growing the, the cryptocurrencies as a as a um an asset class in bitcoin in particular i'm going to talk about bitcoin in particular because Bit bitcoin is the big daddy bitcoin is the big daddy um, bitcoin as an asset class has grown by 230% per year on average. It's been very volatile, but it's been volatile upwards. And uh, I've got some, I, I, if I, in fact, I, I'll leave a link downstairs um, in, the, in the comments to, to a, a tweet by a chap who, 
who, who put a table together of the various asset classes and how and it's, it's an American based thing um, but on, on the various asset class, classes and how they've performed in the last 10 years. And the best performing asset class on his, on his table is the NASDAQ 100, which is the 100 best properties in uh, the 100 best companies in America. And the, the NASDAQ 100 has, on average in the last 10 years, grown by 20% per annum. That's massive. 20% per annum growth in, in an environment where, they, where it's been about a 1, 2, 3% annual inflation uh, over the last 10 years in America. So if you've been investing in, in the NASDAQ 100, you've been doing very, very well. You'd be very pleased with yourself, and, and so you should be. But over that same period, you know how Bitcoin's done? <laughs> it's done 10 times better than the NASDAQ 100. It's averaged 230% per year. That's tripling. If you add 200%, it's tripling. So, so the Bitcoin is actually, uh, has actually increased. It's tripled. On average, it's tripled every year for the last 10 years. Now that's massive. Put that in your calculator and see what happens. So we cannot afford to, to not look at, at digital assets. Now, Bitcoin is just one of them. There's Ethereum. There, there are a whole number of them. I'm not going into too much detail now. But what I can tell you, and this is kind of a sneak preview, is I've spent the last three months developing a course. And the course is aimed at you. If you're watching this video up to now, it's aimed at you directly. And it's somebody who's saying, hang on, I want to get into digital assets. I, I want to somehow invest in something that's growing at 10 times faster than the best in the world. But I don't know how I'm scared. I've heard of my granny, my uncle, my aunt, my accountant who got scammed. Um, I know of a number of people who've been scammed uh, because it's such a volatile industry and there's so much mystery surrounding it that scammers have got in and uh, you know I found that often people will say I want in but I want a broker or I want somebody to do it and they start giving the money to somebody else to do it. No, that's not the way. Just like in property you must own your own bricks and your own mortar and have your own bond and the property must be in your name and you must control the tenants and so on. The same with digital assets. You need to own those coins in your own wallet and uh, I'm going to show you the course is designed um, I've taken the course just so you know uh, de depending on where you are on the spectrum um, I, I recently have been the last couple of months I've been teaching my 87 year old father how to do crypto and he's loving it every day almost we have a zoom call and I show him how to to buy this coin and move this one and stake this one and do this and do that and he's loving it it's giving him a whole new lease of life a new technology to discover and he's he, you know he's grown up in an era where if you're getting five percent interest a year you're like you're on you're on you know that's good <laughs> and and maybe ten percent is all that isn't it a little bit too risky of a stock to now being being offered the potential of 200 percent a year 300 percent a year and so he's excited and uh, it's wonderful to see his portfolio growing <laughs> and he regularly says to me hey you know neil um, my portfolio has doubled and uh, it's exciting. What should I do next? What do you recommend? And it's, it's very exciting. And I've taken my experience of teaching him and I've taught a whole lot of people from the ground up, from the basics, from literally what is Bitcoin? What is the, the ledger? What is all the terminology that comes? I, I take you through it in a series of, of individual lessons. Um, I think at this point we're sitting at about 11, lesson number 13, 14. Take you all the way through to, to, uh, to giving you a strategy to actually go ahead and and not only buy these coins but make sure that you uh, that you own these assets for life nobody scams you of them and you own them securely and you make the best of them and so let's get back to our strategy and the question the question is that that I asked in this video should you invest in property or in crypto and my answer is both because you know you you most most advisors would tell you that you need to have a balanced portfolio and to me a balanced portfolio is a bunch of bricks and mortar that somebody else is paying for and a bunch of of uh, digital assets because we're in the digital world, digital world now digital assets that are paid for by me but but i'm getting i'm investing in the the asset class that has grown 10 times faster than the nasdaq 100. 10 times better than the nasdaq 100 for the last 10 years so, formula is simple. When it comes to other people's money, I invest it in property. When it comes to my property, I want to invest it in the best performing asset on the planet. So, uh, uh, this is the time when, when I, I want to invite you to subscribe. 
if, you, uh, if you're interested in what I've just spoken about and similar things, we know we talk about property mostly in this channel, uh, but it's basically about growing wealth. We're all about wealth and growing your personal wealth so that you can be financially free and you can give up that day job. If that interests you, then please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And then when anything new comes up, you'll see them. And uh, when, when our, our crypto course, our digital course is, uh, digital assets course is ready, uh, I'll be announcing it on this channel and uh, you'll be notified. And, but before I sign off, I, I really want to ask you a question. If, there, if you are sitting there with questions about, any, any questions about crypto, about Bitcoin, about um, digital assets, please ask them down in the comments below. Ask them individual questions. And um, I'll make sure that, that all the questions that are asked here are either answered on, on the, on this, um, in the comments below or I'll, I'll introduce them into the course. The course is not, it's almost packed and, and ready and there's, there's scope for me to just keep adding uh, a Q&A session. So, so please ask your questions and uh, my, the last video or two of, of the course will be Q&A and I'll endeavor to answer every single question that you have. And if, you don't, if I don't know the answer, trust me, it'll excite me and I will go and find out the answer and I'll reply and there are no stupid questions. The fact that you don't know a question, uh, the answer to a question means that there's somebody else doesn't know that either. And by, by, by asking the question, you're actually helping them too. So please feel free, ask questions below in the comments and I'll do my best to, to answer them either in the comments if they're very quick and simple or I'll add them into my Q&A for the course. So, so thanks for sticking with me um, till the end of the video. And I was hoping that, uh, that while I was doing this video, there'd be lightning in the background and so on, because I can hear there's a storm just up here. Um, uh, and, and I was very glad that I didn't get rained on, because it's going to rain any minute. So thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.